Hey, hi. Uh, my name is Jayanti Kanani, and I'm a founder and CEO at Matic. Uh, basically, we are building a layer two scalability solutions for uh, Ethereum. And uh, we use Plasma forever to secure our valuable assets. Uh, and uh, we use proof of stake uh, for our consensus mechanism to validate and uh, keep the chain uh, running. Uh, so basically, today uh, I'm here to talk about mostly how we at Matic uh, thought differently than other layer two solutions and created a way to create a mass adoption adoptions for dApps and users. Uh, we are going to share this, our story uh, with how we did our tech and uh, uh, the usability part of it uh, uh, with Matic. And uh, so yeah, so let's. Uh, so basically, uh, in, in general, in the blockchain ecosystem, what we all want, right? Uh, These are ultimate questions right now. Uh, do, we, do we need scalability? Uh, do we need more apps? Um, no. Basically, what do we need is users, more and more users. And uh, in any industry, if you if you take uh, talk, take a notice of outside decentralized systems, decentralized market, you will see growth is very important for any any industry, right? Uh, and what we are targeting is just users, right? Uh, someone said like, when you think about the problem, you think about uh, you think a backward and work forward. So in he here also, we are uh, when we think about the problems, we uh, think about users and how we get more users uh, and work backward, like we how we get like more dApp developers to build on um, the blockchains and how they can actually get more and more users. So it, it works both ways. You need users, and for that, you need more and more dApps, and for that, you need scalability. So that's how we like. That's how we work like backward. Uh, um, think backward and work forward. So we just start with the scalability and how it it, it actually affects the more uh, most apps uh, in general. Uh, so so for for that, what we are doing is that uh, we scale. Uh, we we provide scalability as a layer two using plasma and predicates. Uh, we also use sidechains, right? Sidechains is a simple because there are multiple layer two solutions like shared channels, other 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 solutions. But the problem with other solutions are they like there is a trade-off between the uh, the amount you need to uh, settle your uh, settle your transactions and uh, make your transactions on the on the side on the layer two. Uh, what we uses the simple side chains using plasmas and proof of stake uh, and we hide all other complexities underneath and just provide uh, dapp developers what they need uh, so here so just for for dapp developers if you if you if you see the what dapp developers need uh, we just provide easy onboarding for all the dapp developers uh, we provide their valuable assets using the using plasma uh, and for them we need also provide as easy migration so once joey crook said if someone comes to me and ask for let's say if uh, i can scale your dapps in next 6 months uh, we gonna we not gonna do it because it takes a huge amount of efforts and time and money to migrate from one solution to other solutions uh, just to scale your dapps Instead, uh, people want to focus on the dApps instead of focusing on the scalability, right? So what we do is that we just provide simple and easy migrations and testing for dApp developers. Uh, most of the times, uh, dApp developers need uh, different kind of fee models, fee models, right? Uh, in Ethereum, if you if you want to make a transaction, you need Ethereum, or uh, maybe you need to uh, integrate meta transactions. Uh, but here, uh, we actually provide those kind of uh, uh, solutions in build on Matic, so dApp developer just can use directly on the platform and just run their dApps uh, easily. Uh, there is another problem in the whole ecosystem is a UX problem, right? Uh, so if we think about 
if you, if you are scaling in Ethereum and uh, simple um, providing a platform for uh, developers, you also need to make sure you provide the best UX in the industry uh, so people can just move uh, to the next platform, right? Uh, if you see the, the previous markets and before the decentralization movement, uh, Web 1 and Web 2, each iteration makes your users your applications very user friendly, right? Uh, if you use currently, if you are using Uber before, they, you are using taxis, right? See the difference between the user experience throughout the web uh, involved uh, uh, when uh, web web one, web two uh, came, right? So when we talk about web three, we should think about how we can gonna provide better user experience for our users. A better experience for our uh, um, no developers, and for that we also have uh, multiple uh, development tool tools as well, uh, uh, which people can directly integrate and you know, provide the kind of you know uh, uh, seamless experience uh, for the users. So now, if you if you think about the uh, what we as a Matic provide. Uh, to, to dev developers is that uh, we use Plasma. So basically, uh, plus, uh, in, in our Plasma model, uh, we use more VP. Uh, there are multiple flavors of Plasma and, uh, currently, but we use more VP. Uh, plus, we actually use EVM. Uh, with with plasma, right? Uh, so uh, some some of you know that uh, it's it is not viable to uh, create a plasma which is uh, general computation for general computations. But for now, we are using ERC. Uh, we have like kind of a solutions where you can use ERC20 in ERC721 uh, in directly uh, um, in directly on on EVM. So basically, uh, what we did is like we changed ERC20. Uh, standard a little bit and added uh, receipts, uh, extra receipt to make sure like input output uh, input one input out output one uh, input two output two some kind of you know simple account accounting on the receipts and it 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 actually help us to uh, create a fraud proofs when you exit from the plasma framework. Uh, so those kind of uh, little bit of tricks and tweaks we made uh, on on our plasma model to create a seamless EVM compatible plasma ERC twenty and ERC twenty one computations. Uh, and if you think about simple uh, ERC20 and ERC721, it's just a simple competition, plus or minus. Let's say if I am sending a uh, 10 die to someone else, uh, it just uh, subtracts uh, the uh, amount from my, my account and adds to the, uh, the opponent account, right? The, uh, the, uh, the other person's account. But if you think about a little bit a complex, a complex, um, a little bit complex. Uh, state, you may uh, want to write your predicates. So predicates basically just say, okay, hey, uh, let's say if you are using multi-sig wallet, right? Uh, when you when you move your state from the from the side chain to Ethereum chain, uh, you need to make sure only only owners of the multi-sig wallet only can you know withdraw your uh, uh, withdraw your tokens or exit your tokens from Ethereum uh, side chain to Ethereum chain, right? So those kind of state competition you can write uh, uh, using predicates uh, predicate systems uh, right now on Matic, uh, but for ERC20 and most of the standards we actually provide directly uh, in inbuilt support for. Uh, predicates, right? Uh, there is uh, there is also uh, some kind of problems in in Plasma where you exit uh, your tokens from the from the side chain to Ethereum chain. It takes seven days or maybe no more because uh, you need to make sure you you don't uh, create a fraud on the side chain and exit instantly. Uh, so Plasma framework provides you a way to create, you know, uh, have like priority queue when you exit. So it takes kind of seven days for exit. But what we do is that we actually sell your exit uh, in directly to uh, you know uh, who is the buyer, and you get the ex exit instantly. But you pay some fees uh, for it, and uh, you know it's kind of uh, security uh, with with kind of you know uh, with with provability using. Uh, just uh, the other person can just prove okay hey your exit is valid you can exit but you have to pay let's say uh, point uh, point zero nine die for one die uh, if you if you don't want to wait for like seven days so those kind of marketplace we are uh, building uh, for faster exits uh, on our system uh, as, as as we said as we said like we also provide multiple SDKs and development tools to just to uh, onboard uh, more and more uh, DApp developers. Uh, directly on the um, directly on on our systems, uh, 
Uh, the main thing is that uh, we are not DAP specific sidechains. So uh, we have like one public sidechains which actually provides you uh, composability and the network effect if you if you are uh, building on layer two. So basically, let's say if you have a DAP specific sidechain and you want to interact with multiple multiple DAP uh, and multiple contracts like the DeFi systems, you need to uh, you know make a transactions on the different shard or different different chain to make this work. But here uh, we we provide like composability out of the box, and uh, this system actually works pretty well uh, because it uh, derives the security from the Ethereum uh, if something goes wrong, right? So uh, for security, uh, Ethereum is there, and uh, we just provide a partial you know, partial confirmation directly. And uh, uh, after 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 five minutes or so, you get the simple uh, finality after uh, after plasma checkpoints goes in the Ethereum chain. Uh, so those kind of tweaks and ticks uh, help us, uh, you know, uh, make it uh, the whole system smooth. And for uh, for of course our 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 um, users and uh, developers. So. Uh, in this whole uh, whole system, what about end users, right? How end users actually interact with uh, multiple chains? So as a layer two, we have a problem with interacting with multiple chains uh, in one 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 screen, right? So if you use kind of you know use MetaMask, you need to change your uh, networks, or your user has to change your networks uh, uh, very frequently. So let's say. Uh, if I want to move my tokens from the uh, Ethereum to layer two, I need to deposit. I make a deposit. I need to make, make a deposit transaction on the Ethereum, and then after that, I can make transaction on the layer two, right? Uh, but here, like, let's say if you are using MetaMask or something like that, you need to make sure uh, you need you have to you know, change your uh, networks uh, once you make a deposit. But for for that, uh, what we are doing is like we are uh, we are actually um, integrating Wallet Connect protocol. Uh, uh, which help us to uh, which help us our users to interact with multiple chains uh, directly so people users don't have to worry about multiple chains uh, multiple deposits or exit uh, anything right uh, also uh, when we talk about uh, simple uh, public side chain or public one public chain uh, people can actually use uh, and test multiple uh, multiple contracts when they want. Uh, if you use a simple uh, simple you know, DApp specific chains, you have to your user has to move uh, one chain to second uh, other chain to test your uh, test your applications. Uh, but here uh, your user can uh, anytime uh, trade or uh, interact with multiple contracts. Uh, it, it also help uh, for stable coins on the chain to you know um, uh, so for users can dApps can use uh, use stable coins in payments in uh, decent exchanges and you know multiple uh, at multiple ways uh, so those those kind of mechanism we are um, we are providing um, for our end users, so also we are uh, working on multiple uh, widgets uh, who uh, developers can directly integrate uh, for the users. Uh, so, uh, so again, they don't have to make a, a deposits and exits um, transactions on the on the layer two. So uh, mostly uh, our system, like uh, if if such kind of system uh, can you know, uh, make a users and developers life easy, and for for that, uh, developers can actually build new markets and uh, kind of you know, let's say DeFi games, new kind of uh, DeFi which actually uh, works multiple uh, works with multiple contracts, uh, games who who can integrate let's say uh, Uniswap uh, or multiple Dexes or uh, simple other other games as well, other games contract as well. And um, so yeah, th those those kind of uh, market and um, uh, existing market we can actually target on uh, when we have uh, such kind of system. Uh, so so yeah yeah, and uh, that's it. Thank you. <laughs>